In one hour, the Earth's atmosphere receive enough sunlight to power the electricity needs of every human being for a year. But because the Earth is so vast, that translates to about only 1,000 watts of energy per square meter of surface. Given the 20% efficiency of a solar panel, that means you'll put one square meter panel under the sun and wait for about five hours. Then you can get one kilowatt hour. That's one unit electricity on your bill. In comparison, a power plant can finish this job by burning just 300 grams of coal. But now we have to rely on such inefficient ways to obtain such diluted energy. To compensate, we have to go big. Very big. When over 600 square kilometers of desert are covered with solar panels, it's a different story. You're looking at one of the world's largest solar farms. But it's just a fraction of a more ambitious plan of Qinghai, which includes 2,000 square kilometers of an installed capacity of 154 million kilowatts, equivalent to seven Three Gorges power stations. In fact, China has 323 gigawatts of solar capacity, around a third of the entire global total. But more importantly, mass production and research progress here have cut the panel price by 75% in 10 years. But that doesn't mean we can solve the climate crisis by covering an entire desert. Engineering and economics aside, a massive solar farm will absorb more heat than the natural sand, change the region's climate, and dramatically transform the ecological landscape. The good news is we have a lot of desert and unused land around the world. But the bad news is few people live there. So we need to invest more in grist to transfer the energy to people who need it. How can we bring renewable energy closer to us? Competition for available land is more severe in populated areas. Well, today, solar panels could be found anywhere in China. Rooftops are just old fashioned. If humanity wants to avoid the worst of climate change, we need better get more creative about where we put solar panels. Under those panels is actually Lu Jianhua's fish pond. The solar power above has little effect on the seafood, and selling electricity can make money. It's a win-win. Compared to a massive solar farm in the remote desert, this distributed system near people is a new trend. For Mr. Liu, it's a good day for harvesting seafood. And a good day for harvesting energy. Whether it's the innovative wind power in Madrid or a creative fish pound whole solar farm in Changzhou, they both bring renewable energy to populated areas. Otherwise, we need to transmit power from far, far away. There is an abundance of renewable energy out there, but power lines are massive black holes of energy.